The campaign season is here, and your vote can make a difference. Comcast brings you the candidates on demand right now. Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Basicchia, and you are watching a special edition of Comcast Newsmakers. It's called Candidates on Demand, and this hour's newsmaker is Edward Marable. He's the independent candidate for assembly in the 27th legislative district. Let's find out about his campaign. Good to meet you. Good to be here, Joe. Let's talk about that 27th that you want to serve. What does it comprise? Well, the 27th is Orange, of course, where I live, uh, and much of suburban Essex County. Let's talk about, especially as an independent candidate, what is fueling you to run and represent this district in Trent? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's important that voters know that although I'm running as an independent, um, I'm a lifelong Democrat. Uh, I believe in democratic principles and ideals. I'm running as an independent, however, because I, like uh, many others, I believe in Essex County, have grown disenchanted with the Democratic Party. We've gotten away from the notion of representative, a representative model, and instead it's an accumulation of power model, uh, one in which uh, power brokers and party leaders control constellations of candidates, um, and I don't think that's healthy. Let's talk a little bit about your background, about the, your public service, and how you want to continue that as a public servant in Trenton. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my public service has been uh, my tenure as an Orange City Councilman, but for 21 years, up until January of this year, uh, I was uh, an attorney working with the State Public Defender's Office, um, uh, representing abused and neglected children. I've done that as an investigator, as an attorney, and as a managing attorney. Public trust. How important is it to build that trust, especially if we see apathy growing in this election? We do not want that to happen. Well, public trust is a foundation. Uh, it's not optional. And trust is an issue in this election, particularly in the 27th, because the two incumbents uh, who were uh, first on the ballot were both uh, what has uh, commonly be, been, uh, been referred to as double dippers. Um, they are dual office holders. And in my view and the view of many in the state, um, that's an unethical practice that should be ended. Give us a sense about diversity. Uh, is, your district is wonderful in diversity. Our state is wonderful in diversity. How do you hope to bring that as a strength mm -hmm. to Trenton? Well, the 27th is a very, very uh, diverse district. You have the West Ward of Newark, you have Orange, uh, and then you have much more suburban districts. Diversity is something I know a little bit about. Uh, I come from a very diverse background. Uh, my maternal grandparents came to this country from Italy. Uh, my great-grandfather uh, was enslaved in North Carolina. So it is a part of my DNA to not think in terms of black and white, but to be able to think outside the box and to think creatively. Confidence and yet humility. How do you take that to Trenton, knowing that you need to get there, roll up the sleeves and get some work done, especially in a climate right now where we need help in property taxes? Well, we need confidence and humility, but what we need is innovation. We need uh, representatives in Trenton who are willing to make the hard decisions, whether they be Democratic, Republican, or Independent. If an idea works, if it's a good idea, then it should be embraced irrespective of partisan politics. Do you hope to bring any, uh, anything in regard to ethics reform? into Trenton? Well, um, I will uh, be a reformer in Trenton. Um, it has been discussed that there are ethics reforms that are forthcoming. Um, I think they should happen before the election, but certainly uh, once I am elected, and I do intend to be elected, um, that will be very high on my agenda. Get back to the sense of what I mentioned about apathy. We want people to vote on election day. What is your advice for folks to get out there and make their voice heard? Well, people have died for the right to vote. Um, it is not something that we should take lightly. Um, if you have a vote, you should vote. Again, you would like to be that candidate. Why? I will be that candidate um, because I am a representative of the people. Uh, I am like uh, the people in the 27th district. I'm not a career politician. Uh, I'm a citizen who happens to be running for office. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Joe. This hour's news.